So I'm super excited to talk to you about Google's new AI project, Project IDX, which is an insane browser-based development environment that uses AI to boost your productivity and creativity. This is honestly one of the coolest things I've ever seen, and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's talk about it. Okay, what is Project IDX exactly? Well, according to Google's official blog post, Project IDX is an experiment to improve full-stack, multi-platform app development. It's a cloud-based IDE that runs in your browser and lets you build, manage, and deploy web and mobile apps using popular frameworks and languages. It also integrates with Google Cloud and Firebase, so you can easily access cloud services and hosting for your apps. Sounds pretty cool, right? But wait, there's more. The most amazing thing about Project IDX is that it's powered by Kodi, a foundational AI model trained on code and built on Palm 2. Kodi is like your personal assistant that helps you write code faster and better. It can do things like smart code completion, code generation, code chat, and contextual code actions. Let me explain what each of these features means. Smart code completion is a feature where Kodi helps you by suggesting what you might write next in your coding project. For instance, if you are working on a function to find the area of a circle, Kodi can recommend the appropriate formula to use. Then, code generation is a function where Kodi creates code for you based on instructions you give in plain language. If you tell Kodi to create a button that says, Hello World, it will create the necessary HTML and CSS code for that button. Code Chat is a feature where Kodi acts like a helper that you can talk to when you need assistance with problems in your code, learning new concepts, or finding information. If you were to ask Cody how do I use async await in JavaScript, Cody would explain it and even provide examples. Contextual code actions is another feature where Cody helps you make changes to your code, like adding comments, changing the structure, formatting, or even suggesting a better name for a variable, all depending on what you are working on at the moment. All these helpful features are made possible by Palm 2, which is Google's advanced large language model that has been enhanced to understand and process multiple languages, think logically, and work with code. Palm 2 was trained using an enormous amount of data, including billions of words from various texts and source codes from different programming languages. Because of this training, Palm 2 is able to understand both regular language and coding language, and it can create outputs that are both relevant and accurate. Project IDX is essentially both a development and learning tool, providing interactive tutorials and examples for various frameworks and languages. Through features like Kodi, you can get answers, feedback, and suggestions tailored to your level of experience. And you can also engage with the Project IDX community, easily switch between languages, and even earn rewards as you progress. In short, if you're looking to expand your skills with frameworks and languages in a more efficient and enjoyable way, this could be just what you need. Now, Project IDX, GitHub's Copilot, and Amazon's Code Whisperer are all AI-assisted development tools. While they share some common features, there are significant differences between them as well. Actually, the main difference is in their focus. Project IDX is meant to be a versatile AI-powered development tool that can be used for many types of development across various platforms. Right now, it can work with frameworks such as Angular, Flutter, Next.js, React, Svelte, Vue, and programming languages like JavaScript and Dart. Support for Python, Go, and other languages is being added too. Project IDX is also designed to work with Google's cloud services and hosting options. In contrast, Copilot and Code Whisperer have more specialized functions. Copilot is primarily used for helping to complete code and works with Visual Studio Code, covering many programming languages. But it does not offer support for developing web or mobile apps, nor does it integrate with cloud services. Code Whisperer, on the other hand, is mainly used to generate code and works with Amazon Web Services. It only supports a limited number of languages like C, Java, JavaScript, Python, and TypeScript, and also doesn't support web or mobile app development or cloud integration. So the tool that will be best for you depends on what you need and what you like. But in my opinion, Project IDX could be the tool that changes how we create apps for the web and mobile devices. And it's not just me saying that. I will share experiences of some of the initial users of this project. So Google rolled out this project in August 2023, providing early access to selected developers who signed up through their website. Since that time, 
Hundreds of them have been putting Project IDX to the test, sharing their insights directly with Google. From the testimonials that Google has made public, it's clear that many developers are finding great value in Project IDX. They speak of its ease of use, its speed, and its intelligent design. They've discovered that it helps them work more efficiently, make fewer mistakes, and even pick up new skills along the way. Its seamless integration with Google Cloud and Firebase is another highlight, enabling developers to deploy and manage their apps more easily. They've used Project IDX to create various applications like chat apps, weather apps, quiz apps, calculator apps, and even blog apps. But of course, Project IDX is not without its challenges. It's still in an experimental stage, and there have been some bumps in the road. Some developers have found that Kodi, a feature within Project IDX, can occasionally give incorrect or unrelated code suggestions. There have also been times when Cody has struggled with complex or vague natural language instructions, or even contradicted itself in code conversations. And some users have faced technical issues, such as crashes or freezes in their browser, or compatibility problems with certain programming languages and frameworks. Google has acknowledged these challenges, assuring users that they are dedicated to improving Project IDX based on this valuable early feedback. They're hard at work on enhancements, and they're encouraging developers to report any bugs or problems directly through their website, making Project IDX a collaborative effort between Google and the developer community. So what's next for Google's Project IDX? According to their own blog post, they're brimming with ideas and aspirations to enhance this innovative project. They're working on expanding its support to encompass a wider range of frameworks and languages, including Python, Go, Ruby, Swift, Kotlin, and more. They're looking at ways to provide more options for cloud services and hosting, like Google App Engine, Google Kubernetes Engine, and Google Cloud Run. And Google has plans to make Project IDX compatible with a broader selection of IDEs and editors, such as Android Studio, IntelliJ IDEA, and Sublime Text. They're focusing on incorporating more code actions and features like code refactoring, testing, debugging, and documentation. They're also keen to enhance code chat functionalities and add support for additional AI models and capabilities like image generation, speech recognition, and natural language understanding. In the grand scheme of things, Google is exploring how Project IDX can fit into their wider AI strategy and the landscape of development tools. They want Project IDX to be an open and collaborative platform, one that can work in harmony with other AI-powered tools and services. For me, Project IDX seems like a game-changer in the world of app development, promising to make the process faster, more straightforward, and even a pleasure to work with. I can't wait to try it out myself and discover what I can create with it. What about you? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, so please feel free to share them in the comments below. If this video caught your interest, remember to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more content focused on AI and related topics. Thanks for spending this time with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.